pay us until I need one. so far with the stool and everything, it's kind of cool, right? So one of the things that I want to demonstrate today, uh, just kind of, Aubrey's amazing, man, he's super talented. Uh, one of the things I want to do with Megan here, uh, when we use the stool, okay, can you fade to move? There you go, cool. Okay, one of the things that I do in the salon, uh, when I do my cuts, like Floyd was saying, my cuts are 200, I started at 200 going up, and my specialty is cutting and coloring. Okay, that's the only thing that I do in the salon. Okay, so in a situation like this with uh, Megan here, once we go in, a cut like this following around already has to be, you always want to keep the head clean, and I like hair to move, you know what I mean? Like the seat. Because sometimes when people, and I notice this too, when I train uh, my staff in um, Young and Junior stylists, they use a small teeth comb too much sometimes. It gathers too much in the head. You understand what I'm saying? So I like the head, you can show texture with the wide tooth. So it's important to kind of master that. So you want to kind of see the mobility of the head, the haircut, okay? So you don't want to kind of just push, like place a haircut on top of the head. You know, people just take too much time. You want to see that hair move. You want to see texture. So when I go in with um, the uh, Okay, so y'all saw the triple blades. Anybody ever use the triple blades? Nobody ever use triple blades before? Okay, all right. So what I would do in this situation here, I would just kind of go through the triple blades and kind of just slide through. So you can see some of the space here. You see, it creates some of the space here. So you can kind of just chew at it a little bit. Create that texture that you're looking for. That don't fall off. Without taking too much. Uh, could you tell us why three blades instead of one blade? What did Floyd today say about 20 minutes? <laughs> Presentation. Presentation. You fall asleep. I saw you. you know, <laughs> I saw you. Okay, but it's, it's, it's more. It's it's uh it's more presentation. But you're adding the texture in there. So sometimes, you know, clients are not used to seeing that too. You understand? But let me tell you this, let me warn y'all. When I first started using it, that one client was like a big chump ray, so you gotta <laughs> be careful, please. So when you're doing it, you're not closing the blade all the way. You're literally just kind of chewing at it. So you want to make sure, and another thing too, your thumb, your thumb. See, when you have your thumb too much inside, typically like that, you don't have too much control. You want to make sure that thumb is right here, just on the moving blades here. Now with the triple blade, on this one, it may be a little tough, but you still don't want to insert your thumb so much where you don't have so, so much control. Okay, so you want to be able to loosen, the, to kind of put that tension in and chew at it a little bit. Because you can actually see it come to life right now. Y'all yeah, see that? Just that little bit right there. And it probably can be a little uncomfortable for you in the beginning, but it's something that you guys need to play with. And just practice. Practice on a mannequin first. Please. I'm telling you. The client goes, I don't like that triple blade stuff. You can put a gas. <laughs> so, what are we going to do next? Yeah, we're going to spray it up. So, I'm finishing spraying. So one of the other things I like to do in the salon, step down. So one of the things I like to do in the salon, I've, I've noticed sometimes people spray directly. You really want to aim that nozzle up, okay? Because you want those mist, just to mystify it a little bit, okay? And so also, another thing too, when you're doing that, when you apply a product like that, like sprays and mist, make sure that you get... You use your fingers a little just to get underneath. Sometimes it sits on the top. And I know some women have that layer of gunk right on the top, and they just got it. All this is just kind of 
frizzy a little bit, but that one place is flat hole and everything else in place. You want to avoid that. And so I'm just going to just show you. So that's important too. The use of your product is very important. Okay? And also, put it in your hands. I don't know if you guys do that. Put the product in there. You guys can see that texture in there. You guys see it? Yeah. Right, try it. All right, so I'll be about to do a little bit of color here. Also, when you take remove the cake, make sure you guys move it down and off. Sometimes, sometimes I gather the cake, and see this is all part of presentation too. Sometimes I, I release the cake and grab the bottom as well so you can grab all that hair away. Okay, some people just back it off with hair sticks, step on. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to avoid that. Alright? It's going to be color. Um, the great thing about hair cutting, that you'll take notice about hair cutting, uh, your clients will go out of town and have an affair with another hairstyle when it comes to hair cutting, but your hair color clients are going to be a little bit more loyal. Uh, the average hair cutting client.